So, talk. now this is how you do a red carpet. Yes, I thought so. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a dress by a designer from back home. His name is Casper, and he made this specifically for today, so I'm very excited. Very nice. Well, I think you're probably the only person with a designer outfit on the carpet today. Oh, really? Well, I came prepared. You know a girl how supposed to do. Well, that's true. So talk to me about Catching Feelings. What, what is the genesis of this film? Where did it come from? I, I mean, I, you kind of see a lot of African films that are mostly about one thing, you know, disease, war, famine. And we, we thought to make a film that was just cool, candid, you know, story about a relationship in the city where people are drinking lots of coffee and having sex. And that's what the film mostly is about. But, you know, stuff, comedy of class, a bit of race issues in there, but generally just regular people having slightly irregular problems in life. So what attracted you to this particular project? Um, Gajiso is a very good filmmaker from in South Africa and he's done a lot of great work which is, which is usually comedic and as an actress I've always done dramas and you know more serious type of things and this is serious but at the same time for me it was a great challenge it was something exciting exciting for me to get involved in and I just I just wanted to make people laugh for a change instead of try and make them cry or you know all the other stuff and obviously as well it was a very different kind of African story as he said so that was pretty exciting for me too. So how exciting was that for you to stretch your acting muscles to branch out with the lighter flair? It was, look, it was very challenging, but I think that I do have that muscle in me and I just needed to work it out a little bit. And with a director such as this, it wasn't that difficult. The writing was very good. And he also allowed us to kind of really contribute a lot to the work and to the words and to the, to the character. So, you know, when, when a director gives you that much to play with, then it does allow you to do better in that case. So what do you think of her in bringing your words to life? But she's great. I mean, she's in South Africa, she's one like big celebrity kind of character. And I always, you know, for me, it was a bit of a scary thing, you know, was it that kind of film that I, you know, I didn't see it as a kind of straightforward mainstream commercial. And then when we started working together, she, I mean, she was like an extreme professional on top of that, but also so talented and so versatile and so giving and generous. So it was a great pleasure. It was an honor. It was, it an, was honor. an honor. <laughs> it was a great honor. It was a great it's hard to trust pretty girls <laughs> with was, things you yeah, love. Yeah, see. yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much. Congratulations. Thank you. L.A. Film Festival all the way from South Africa. Yes. Who'd have thought? Yeah, yeah. Not my teacher. My English teacher. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.